What is up my dragon crew? Dragon here and we are back on once again a would you rather. It's been a long time since I've done one of these myself and I believe the last time I did this was uh I think it was with OG Nuts but I don't know but anyway I have someone else on the channel who will be playing with today. Go ahead and introduce yourself buddy. Um uh, I mean well, uh, greetings everyone, it's me, Max, the Rockstar Hog. Your multiple guard and the Fallen Angel just arrived. Yeah, long time no see, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> same goes to you, and uh, how's it been, Hope? You're doing fine? Yeah, been doing okay. But anyway, you, mm. shall, we, shall we go ahead and get started? Oh yeah, I played Would You Rather before, and the last time I did it was with my adopted sister Sailor Piece. So hmm. I know how this happened. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll probably do like a couple yeah. questions. We'll probably do like a few questions or something. But anyway, I'll go. Ahead, I'll go ahead and start off first. So, would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or in a broken elevator? Hmm. Be stuck on a broken. Left. Hmm. Is it? I kind of don't understand what kind of lift we're talking about. Do you hmm. know what it is? I haven't really heard of it, but I know about the broken elevator, though. Those are, those are kind of scary. Honestly, uh, I actually was once stuck in a broken elevator back in my home place, which was sadly. Uh, burned to the ground thanks to my anti who I'm still you know trying to defeat yeah. but I guess I will go with the red option to figure out what it's like and plus in a broken elevator no I don't want to be traumatized again yeah, I'll go with the broken elevator Let's see what we got oh you won this oh. one hmm you know what they say want to challenge me fine with me <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. Hmm. Okay, would you rather live an extra 25 years or live a life without the need to sleep? Oh, well, hmm. I mean, I think I know my answer. I will go with the blue option because, one, I already know how long I'm going to live for. And apparently, yeah, that's one of my weaknesses. I'm going to live till 50 years and once I hit that mark then I will my soul will go to the alternative reality that's what I'm gonna say so live an extra 10 five years knowing my destiny eh, kind of uh, too shape what about you well if you think about it like this life depends how long it goes for and even it'll tell you when your time is up obviously sleep everyone needs because it actually helps your body but living an extra 25 years should do it, because who knows? There might be some life goals you haven't accomplished yet. So I'd rather go with the extra 25 years, just to increase my lifespan a bit more. Well, considering the fact that I know one thing called Barfly FX, have you heard about it before? Eh, I think so. It's basically one, one small thing happens, which led to a big thing that literally changes the future in a serious way. That's yeah. how bar flight. I gotcha. Anyway, let's see what we got. Oh, uh, alrighty. I... <laughs> <laughs> alrighty. Would you rather get paid for reading books or watching TV? I think we both know the answer for this one. For orange option, because one... I, I'm a bit of a nerd in reading books, especially in mangas, because uh, that was one of the cultures I was raised. As for watching TV, um, I do have a bit of uh, doubt about it, because sometimes watching TV can make people dumb a little bit. 
So I will go with something that improves my intelligence, which is obviously reading books. And plus, money? Hell yeah. I'd rather go for the books as well. Let's see what we got. Oh, all right. We both got this one. I think we tied up this. All right. Your turn. Would you rather always have a pebble in your shoe, which is bleh, and always Ooh. have an eyelash? Um. Okay, hmm. those are those are extremely annoying. I know what it's like to do have both of those. The eyelash in your eye, yeah, it could be it could be kind of painful, but not really much. But it could be annoying. The pebble in your shoe, yeah, it just it just feels annoying when you walk. So I kind of don't know what to choose. You know, I guess I get have a bit of explanation right here. I mean, think carefully. Um, when you try to move your eyelash from your eye, sure, it can be sometimes. Uh, exhausting, but once you open and close your eyes for like a short set time, for a short period and do it a lot of times, then eyelash will be gone. But as for like having a small stone in your shoe or even a Lego, for, as for example, mm. um, uh, what, this is more painful and more emotionally wasted if I can say this way. So I'll go yeah. with a left minion, which is blue one. And I'd rather the eyelash as well, because I don't like to feel, feel like I'm walking on a pebble every day. Ah, okay, we got it. Mm. Well, I'm very glad that he meant he isn't that. Hmm. I think. Would you rather be able to watch your dreams again in a video or be able to fall asleep by snapping your fingers? Huh. Uh, I got mm. I gotta go with the red one because there are some dreams I had that I don't really want to lose. So I mean, uh, well, honestly, I would rather go with the red option because I mean, I recently had a dream where I would meet the true love of my life and. You know, I rem remember I told you that I was, like, married and all such. Yeah. Well, I'll just say, not anymore. Divorce happened, and, like, we don't socialize with each other. Like, we basically went our own way, so... All I can say is, as Amy Sorrell once said, hope only brings disappointment sometimes. <clears throat> I gotcha. Alright, but I think I... Wait, uh, we're going for the red opinion? Well, option. Yeah, I'm going with the red option. What are you doing, Blowboy? I'm gonna go the same way because falling asleep by snapping my fingers, eh, I'm not that masochistic to do that. Alright. Ah, perfect, we got <laughs> it. Okay. Alright. Oh, this will be good. This is a good one. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to turn invisible? I'm pretty sure you can already fly. I can tell from the wings. Well, I mean, I do have an ability to fly. And, oh, I forgot to say this. Then let's just say, here's the thing. Um, I do have a good friend of mine named Granger the Wolf who has an ability to look into the future if he knows the person very well, which in the kind of like a kind of like a kind of like a psychic. Yeah, like Silver with his uh, psychokinesis power, basically. But um, let's just say he told me one thing that not only I'm gonna have to fight certain pain screen, which is a police way version of me, but he told me that. In case if I'll defeat it, not only I will get a specific weapon, but I will be able to become a god god of balance between evil and kind, which honestly I hmm. For me, I'd rather go and I'd rather be able to turn invisible. Yeah. I will be going through the blue opinion so I could sometimes 
spy on other people with the bad movements. Like for example, oh, I don't know. Lost. If, uh, oh, yeah, it's I was gonna it's, say, but it's all good. Yeah, it's all right. But I just want to say that me and my anti, we have an ability to know each other's plans, which is a stalker cycle thing going on. So I kind of can predict you. Hmm, victorious, I guess. Alright. Alright, this one's your read. Yeah. Alright, would you rather be fluent in every language or able to play every musical instrument? I'd rather be fluent uh, in every language. I will have to agree with you because, I mean, sure, um, music playing musical instrument is fine to like entertain people and all that but i would rather be an highly intelligent person and i will go with be fluent be able to speak fluently every single language because as one wife said intelligence is the greatest weapon against those who doesn't have it right i can see that yeah. making i can see that making sense Anyway, hmm. let's I mean, go. Let's, if I wasn't, let's see. Oof. Oh well. All I can say is, what in the actual hell is wrong with you? Oh. Eh, <laughs> I don't. I don't complain. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we could go for three more. All right. Would you rather yeah. be always hot or always be cold? I'd rather always be cold. I'm not really a fan of the heat. Hmm. Well, let's see. Considering the fact that I was raised in a... Um... Cold... Hmm. I actually have a bit of a question. Which... Wait, you mean hot or cold? Either it's temperature or... Yeah, emotional. yeah, it's a... It's temp... It's... I'm pretty sure it's a temperature. I'm pretty sure it doesn't describe anything else. Then, in this case, I would go for cold because uh, I don't want to sweat a lot, and plus, um, things like global warming. Um, no, I don't want to face that reality. Facts. I can agree with you. Oh, uh, what is wrong with them? <laughs> All right. Oh well. Anyway. Yes, boss fight, but always be hot. Are you serious, bro? It's, it's <laughs> so good. But anyway, you read. All right. Would you rather uh, save a member of your family or save one thousand of strangers? This, um, is, this is kind of a tough one, actually. Yeah, because. I mean, hmm. here is actually my thoughts about it. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I mean, I do remember I saved some strangers before. I mean, I, we saved a lot of strangers lately. The last time that we saved something was back at the whole Blade XC thing that happened. But that's a different topic. Saving family? I even did that before on my recent adventures, too. So I kind of find this hard to pick. But anyway, uh, go ahead. I, I was having a thought about, say, 1,000 of strangers, because here's the thing. We don't know what kind of strangers where they are, whether they're evil people or um, kind people, because um, you, you can't even predict whether they're, like, the people that are really worth to save it or not. But as for save a member of your family, you can all uh, think about who you exactly want to save. And uh, I even know who I want, because remember I told you that I became uh, basically a uh, parent as a kiddo when I lost mine at a young age due to them not surviving out of catastrophe. Yeah. So, honestly, 
I think I would rather go with a red more of an option than blue one because in blue case, in a blue option, you don't even know what kind of strangers they are and will you regret about saving them. While in a red yeah. opinion, uh, you can always pick like one certain person who will want to be a salvation. I think I will stick with the left. I mean, option. I'll go with the family as well. And we got it. All Looks right. Like my... This will be the last one. Yeah. I'll go ahead and read. Would you rather be able to live a hundred years or a hundred years in the future? Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, 100 years in the future doesn't mean that we will be able to see where the future is going to go. I think. Yeah, probably. I think so. Um, then, in my case, I will go with a blue opinion so I could figure out what's going to happen. Well, plus, I already have a friend who can do this kind of favor, so... I could figure out what to do. And plus, I'll be real, but I'm gonna face a lot of havoc stations been going on. I think I will be in a strong need to train with specific Mobians where I can not only test my power, but also see my true potential. I mean, dra mm -hmm. Dragon, believe me or not, but I have a starting match with certain AG. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and I, that was even the first day I met dimensional Alex. I mean, yeah, he kind of is a bit show-offish, but I think we can work him out. Yeah, he can, he can be, but he's still, he's still good hearted. But since, but since you're going for the blue option, since this is the, this is the last round, I will go for the red option to see who wins. So, let's see who wins. Oh, huh? you win! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think that's it for the Would You Rather, but I uh, hope you had fun, Max. Maybe we might do it again sometime. Well, <laughs> honestly, it's been a very cool night, and I hope we're gonna see more from each other. Plus, <laughs> honestly, knowing you a little bit, uh, I feel like I might need your assistance sometimes. But we will see how things will go. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna let's go ahead and end this video up so we can go ahead and proceed on with our day. So, if you all enjoyed today's Would You Rather, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell if you want to see more. Also, do not forget to so subscribe to Max the Rockstar Hog, which is the link in the description below. And in the meantime, this is Dragon Sam Forever, my Dragon Crew. You all have a good one and stay safe. Yeah, and what I'm going to say is feel right, and since my roommate already had more than one case of, honestly, I think you should check up on the channel to see how my personal growth is going to go, so all I can say is I will make my people proud, but for now on, au revoir. Good, goodbye, everyone. <laughs>